Have you ever considered the importance of refineries in Nigeria's economy? To understand this, we need to delve deep into the details of two key players in the Nigerian oil and gas industry, the Port Harcourt Refinery and the Dangote Refinery. Both are crucial to the local and national economy, but upon close examination, the differences become apparent. Firstly, let's discuss ownership. The Port Harcourt Refinery is a joint venture between the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, Italy's Eni, and the Royal Dutch Shell. In contrast, the Dangote Refinery is a solo venture by the Dangote Group, led by Aliko Dangote. This difference in ownership structure directly influences decision-making, financing, and investment strategies for the refineries. Output. Moving on to capacity, the Port Harcourt Refinery, despite its substantial capacity of 210,000 barrels per day, operates below this benchmark due to neglect, poor maintenance, and operational challenges. On the other hand, the Dangote Refinery, once fully operational, is projected to have a phenomenal refining capacity of 650,000 barrels per day, earning it the title of Africa's largest single-train refinery. Another key contrast lies in their technology. The Port Harcourt Refinery struggles with outdated technology, resulting in operational inefficiencies and high maintenance costs. Conversely, the Dangote Refinery is a beacon of modern technology, capable of processing a wide range of crude oils and producing high-value products. From an investment perspective, the Port Harcourt Refinery has undergone several rehabilitation initiatives, but funding constraints have impeded significant improvements. In stark contrast, the Dangote Refinery, backed by a staggering $15 billion investment, exemplifies the Dangote Group's financial strength and commitment to establishing a world-class refinery. Finally, let's discuss sustainability. The environmental impact of the Port Harcourt refinery has been a concern due to its use of outdated technology and inefficient operations. On the other hand, the Dangote refinery, a state-of-the-art facility, is built with a commitment to contemporary environmental regulations and standards, thus keeping its ecological footprint minimal. In conclusion, Despite both the Port Harcourt and Dangote refineries being vital to Nigeria's economy, they exhibit stark contrasts in aspects like ownership, capacity, technology, investment, and sustainability. These differences offer intriguing insights into the workings of the Nigerian oil and gas industry and its future trajectory.